you know, this just a real, a real story, you know what I'm saying? This beat is so, so good. Ice like a bunch of... Hey, you guys, and welcome back to the Ashley Lewis Show. I'm your host, Ashley Lewis. Girls, do you wonder why you felt like you had a special connection with someone and they just never hit you up? Guys, do you wonder why you're always put in the friend zone? Well, today, we're going to clear up these mixed signals. What are three qualities that you look for in your ideal mate? Well, Ashley, they definitely have to be fine. I'm talking about 10. Not 8.5, 10, okay? Um, and they definitely have to be able to, you know, make me laugh. You know, I'm a goofy person. Do you think it's possible to love more than one person at the same damn time? I don't really think so, personally, because I think when it comes to love, you know, love for one is all about compromise. And when you love someone, you're not willing to compromise the fact that they love someone else. And when you love someone, it's like you give them all your effort, all your time, and all your love. And I feel like that's something that you can't share. That's something you, you give the one person and one person only. Do you think that guys should pay for all dates? I feel that guys should pay for all dates, but maybe when you're trying to impress, I guess, yeah, the opposite sex, maybe you should pay for dates. So, I mean, you guys have an understanding and a girl's making her own money. Sometimes you can treat your man. It's not as bad, ladies. So don't be the prissy little girl and not want to pay. Love versus lust, and how can you really tell the difference? Lust, we already know, it usually has to do with sex. Um, and, and just like basic feelings, something that's really immature. But when you're speaking about love, me personally, I don't feel like love exists today because it, it comes to so many things such as financial, especially when it comes to marriage and stuff like that. It's not really the true feeling between one another. So me personally, I don't believe in love nowadays. But so if your boyfriend cheats on you, do you think that he deserves a second chance? Why or why not? In a relationship, I really think that communication is like the most important thing. And so I would really, I would sit down and talk with him and we would have a communication. I would really try not to be, you know, ratchet and just like <laughs> eat him up. Uh-uh, I know. Right, right, bring my knife out, girl. Right. But you know, I would, <laughs> right, I would try to hear him out. But in most circumstances, I believe that respect is shown by your actions and not what you say. When you have a girlfriend and she cheats on you, do you think she deserves a second chance? A why or why not? A girlfriend? A girlfriend. No. No. Why not? It's just a double standard, you know? I feel as though, um, just for me personally, like, if, if a girl cheated on me, that's just like, that's like disrespectful, like, and I'm not gonna let that ride. Girls are always saying, guys are so thirsty. But can you tell me an experience where the girl was super thirsty? Stage with my frat brothers, and, you know, girls, group of girls are just on the floor just like pointing at us like and I'm just like oh my god you know and you know we're wearing our frat stuff they're all oh my god you're in a frat uh we want to hang out with you guys la 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 and I'm just like the thirst you know? do you think that you could find love here at Howard you believe that you can find love here at Howard you can find I feel like you can find love anywhere it's just all about the people that are here and really the person that you fall in love with it doesn't matter where you are or you know what's the difference between being exclusive and being in a relationship I mean, being in a relationship, like you're committed to like one person, the only one person. Being exclusive, you could honestly, well, in my opinion, I feel like you could still have your fun, and you're not as committed to like you know that person. But like being exclusive just means like y'all are on your way to of being in a relationship. Can women be considered players too? Nowadays, in 2013, women are more liberated, have more say. It's not so much of a double standard all the time, so I feel like women do talk to multiple guys at one time or even engage in any intimate activities as well, so I feel like girls are definitely players. Probably the best players ever, actually, better than dudes. So. What signs or signals do you show when you're really feeling a guy? When I'm really feeling a guy, I'll constantly think about them. I text them every morning or want to talk to them before I go to bed at night. I constantly want to be around them. The question is, Love versus lust, and can you really tell the difference? I feel like lust is um, definitely triggered by physical, um, and it can start and stop on the physical, but love is physical, spiritual, and mental. How long do you wait before you tell your girlfriend or your partner that you love them? It, de it depends on if I, if I love them or not. You know, if I love them, I let them know right away.
Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and tune in next week for an exciting new episode.